Hey guys, thanks for watching. We're doing Bible Q&A here. My name's Landon. I'm a pastor in Phoenix, Arizona. And whether you are from my church or our student ministry here or from a different one, I'm so glad that you're watching this video. We're taking Bible questions and answers. And um, I don't think I know everything, but I do think that God knows everything and God has revealed an incredible amount of truth in the Bible that's accessible for us as we read it and as it is illuminated by His Spirit. And so I wanna go through another question. This one's pretty interesting. It comes from one of our teenagers here at Cornerstone. It says, what does the Bible say about cussing? What does the Bible say about cursing? The Bible says in the New Testament that some words and some phrases are not fitting of saints. The concept there being um, we are sinners, we are saved by grace, and we are saved into sainthood. And uh, Colossians and Galatians describes the new self, the fruit of the Spirit. And there are certain things about the way people live um, that when we are saved, we are brought into a newness of life. The Bible doesn't say anything specifically about uh, cussing in the sense of like the four letter words that we have today because they didn't even speak our language back then. Um, so it doesn't talk about like the F word or like words you should or shouldn't say. Um, I think too much emphasis goes on that. I think a, a more of an emphasis is, is, um, is what you're saying loving, is what you're saying kind. You know, um, 1 Corinthians talks about what it means to be loving. It means to be patient, to be kind not to envy, not to boast, not to be proud or rude, not to insist on your own way, not to get angry easily, not to keep a record of someone else's wrongdoing, um, not to delight in evil, but to rejoice in the truth. That uh, Love always protects, love always trusts, love always hopes, love always perseveres. And I would say that those are better metrics for the words that you say. Are you being loving? You know, some people come from uh, more of a baptist -y background and, and saying four-letter curse words is like a big deal. It's like a really big deal and that's fine. And if those words bother your parents, you shouldn't say them because that's just being loving to other people. And if those words bother people in your small group, you shouldn't say them because, um, you know, that's not honoring to God and loving to them. And if those words hurt your own conscience, you should not say them. Paul talks a lot about um, meat offered to idols, uh, which is a, con a conscience issue that I don't have enough time to go into, but the general idea is that there are some things that hurt some people's consciences and the same things don't hurt other people's consciences. And, you know, some people say, you know, damn it when they get upset or something, and it's not really that big of a deal to them. But I wouldn't say those words in front of people who were irritated or bothered by them because, you know, I think that that's not loving. That being said, the King James Version has some very old words in it that are now cuss words. So if you are, if you do want to uh, curse, you can just read out of the King James Version. I'm just kidding. I hope that that long rambling answer helped you and I hope it did not offend you. But if it did, God bless you anyway. And we'll see you next time.